All right, so um, done some more mastering physics homework, chapter twenty-seven still. Um, <clears throat> this is question number eight. Um, so let's start the question. We're given that um, eleven centimeter long uh, nichrome wire is connected across the terminals of a one point five volt battery. And first question is, what's the electric field inside the wire? So the electric field, right? E. What's the units of electric field? That's in volt per meter. What do give us the volt and the length? So we already have it. So and then this is just for later on. Um, this is some facts that we know. This is you can find this in your textbook in chapter 27. It's in one of the tables. But that's basically the conductivity of nichrome. So let's we'll keep this number in mind here. Okay. So E, the electric field is equal to volts. So we got 1.5 volts divided by 11 E to the minus 2 meters. Okay. We just convert it to meters instead of centimeters. So we'll have 1.5 divided by um, 11 e to a negative 2, which is 13.64 or um, 64 volts, which is equivalent to 14 volts, which is in fact the same as right there, okay? So that's part A. So next we're, we have to find what is the current density inside the wire? What well, a current density, well, that's J, that's not the electron density, right? So if J is equal to um, I over A, but we don't have the area because we're not given the diameter of the wire we're just given the length so that won't work but j is also equal to um let's see here sigma times e now you guys might be wondering what's sigma well that's this thing right there that's the um conductivity of nichrome the type of metal um, the wire is okay so where we found e so let's go ahead and just multiply these two together all right so if we have sigma here that is just going to be um, what I wrote up there, so is that 6.7 e to the 5, so that's inverse ohm. So 1 ohm is 1 v over a, but it's inverse, so it's a over v, okay, times it by 1 over meter. It's just the units, right? This two is just part of units. And e, that's just 13.64 um, um, volt per meter. Did I just write volt? It's actually volt per meter. I'm sorry, guys. That's because the meter didn't go away. So now, if we multiply this together, we'll get something in a v meter squared. So, or but the v's cancel, so it's a over meter squared. So j to the seven e to the five times thirteen. That'll give us. Some, Nine one three six three six three point six. Okay, that's a pretty big number. So this is gonna be nine point one times ten to the one two three four five six. I count. Yep, six. Um, a over meter squared, which is in fact what we have here. So that's good. So we've got a and b done now. So see if the current in the wire is one point six was the wire's diameter. So now we can use this equation right here because we have everything. So if we scroll down a little bit, we have 9.1, what's well, actually 9.13 or 9.14 um, times 10 to the 6 um, amp per meter squared is equal to um, I over A. So what's I? I, they gave it to us, I was uh, 1.6 amps all divided by the area, okay, so that's just going to be pi, or, yeah, pi r squared, we're going to get the diameter from the radius, right, so this is multiplied by both sides, so we get pi r squared is equal to uh, 1.6 amps divided by 9.14 e to the 6 amps over meter squared, so these two cancel, and we're left with meter squared here. So um, 1.6 by that. So and if we take the square root, or we divide by pi, I take the square root of that. We'll get 2.36 as the radius, but if they multiply by two to get, so 2.36 e to the negative four meters, but we multiply by two to get. Um, 
in diameter. So that's 4.72 e to the minus 4 uh, meters. And we can also multiply by 1,000 to get it in millimeters. So we get 0.472 millimeters, which is also what we have up here. And that's it, guys.